today i am going to discuss with you about how to conduct a clinical audit why we need clinical audit we need clinical audit in order to improve improve our patient outcome how it improve our patient clinical outcome is it going to compare our clinical current clinical practice with a standard practice i will give an example during the anaphylactic shock fluid resuscitation the guideline says at least we should give 20 ml per kg fluid resuscitation what they says is we should give 20 ml per kg fluid resuscitation i think in our hospital we are giving lesser amount of fluid so i identify the problem we are giving lesser amount of fluid what the standard is standard 12 said at least we should give 20 ml per kg fluid resuscitation then i am what i am going to do is i am going to find out bht patient who had anaphylactic shock in the last 3 month from those bht i am going to check whether my patient our patient received adequate amount of fluid that mean 20 ml per kg fluid then i am going to collect data from using bht then i am going to analyze my data i have found only 70% of patients got 20 ml per kg fluid bolus because of that we are still below the level of standard value then what i am going to do is i am going to educate my nurses and doctors regarding the importance of the fluid management during the anaphylactic shock so after that i am to going to do a re audit to assess whether the problem is corrected or not so this cycle we are calling audit cycle audit cycle shall we take another example when today i morning i come into the theater i have seen there are lot of patient in the waiting area so i think patient waiting in the waiting area too much time it is not a good condition then i am waiting through the guideline what it says is waiting area time for more than 95% should be less than 2 hours at least 95% of patients more than 95 patient should wait less than 2 hours that mean only 5% of patients waiting more than 2 hours rest do the surgery and went to ward so here i want to check whether this value is with our patient or not so my problem is longer duration or prolonged waiting in the waiting area prolonged waiting standard value is 95% of patients should wait less than 2 hours so then i am going to collect data i am going to check the bht at what time patient came to theater at when at what time patient taken into the inside at what time surgery was finished at what time patient taken to the recovery area at what time patient sent to water oh, sorry ward so then i am going to analyze my data for my think i have found only 92% of patients waiting less than 2 hours that mean 80% 8% of patients waiting more than 5 to 2 hours that mean we are still under is standard value so what i am going to do is identify fault and i want to i want to correct it then and then i want to do re audit for a while think in the recovery they are under staff and what monitor also lesser lesser amount of monitor is there then what i am going to do is increase the staff in the recovery area increase the number of staff increase the additional monitors so after implement the strategies i want to do a re audit and 
identify whether my problem is resolved or not. So I want to do this research. For that, I want to create audit proposal. So shall we check how are you going to create audit proposal? I don't know this type of color is very difficult to remove from the board. So, shall we make audit proposal? Audit proposal section 1, including name of the auditor, is my name, Dr. Dinosha. Name of the supervisor, my consultant name. Doctor so and so. In the center name, National Hospital. You can have multi center or single center. Whatever you can do, but I prefer to do it single center if data is adequately enough. Here I am going to do it as a single center style. So then I want to move into the section 2. It includes audit topic my audit topic is audit tone audit tone waiting prior to surgery to surgery in the waiting area in the waiting area background for the background i have to go through the literature and articles to find out what happened if my patient is waiting pro longer duration in the waiting area. So I went through the article, then I have found if we are keeping patient in the waiting area for a long time, increase anxiety, decrease sugar level, hypoglycemia, and patient can develop dehydration. Those are the problems can associate when we keep our patient longer duration. So background is here, you have to make a small paragraph for that. So then you have to mention your objectives. Objective two, two things, main objective and you can have subsequent objective or sometimes you may not have subsequent objection. Only main objective is enough. My main objective is to identify to identify whether we are keeping our patient longer time than standard value to identify whether we are keeping our patient more than standard time so this is my objectives so then I move into section 3 section 3 first one is it methodology methodology. What I am going to do here is from today onward, one week to front, that means from today up to seven days, I am going to collect data from using the VHT to identify whether time duration, prolonged time duration is kept our patient or not. So I am going to do a study from today to front. That means prospective study. So I am going to do a prospective cross sectional study. Prospective cross sectional study. In previous example, the anaphylactic shock, what I did is I collect data or BHT for past three months. So I did retrospective studies. Retrospective studies. Here I am going to do prospective study. So, study population is patient who come into the theatre, patient who come for surgery, came for surgery. I want to add some few exclusion criteria here. We have to mention the exclusion and inclusion criteria. This is the inclusion criteria. Exclusion criteria is, I am going to exclude emergency surgeries because those surgeries is straight away taken into the bed, theatre bed. I am going to exclude emergency surgery. I am going to exclude pediatric surgery because they are taken in the 
earlier part of the list, theater list, pediatric, and I am going to explore casual side because we can't predict the time duration of the surgery here. Some casual surgery may take longer time. So, so I am going to explore those patients. So, next one, data collection procedure. How you are going to collect data? I am going to collect data using bed head ticket. Usually bed head ticket mentioned time of arrival, surgery started time, and surgery finish time, recovery time, but at what time we are going to send to the patient. So I am going to use in, collect the data using BHT. Then I'm data analysis. How are you going to analyze the data? I am going to analyze data using descriptive statistic. Descriptive statistic. What is descriptive statistic? It's going to measure the frequency and central tendency. Tendency and variance and position as well. So it's going to measure the frequency, it's going to measure the central tendency, it's going to measure the variance, it's going to measure the position as well. I will explain one by one. For the frequency, we can use the count. You can use the count or percentage. Count or percentage. I will give an example. Patient who are waiting less than one hour, you can take mention in count or as a percentage. Next we are going to take central tendency. For the central tendency, you can use mean, mod and median. You can check the mean value, you can calculate the median value, you can check the mod as well. So then you have to check the variance for that standard deviation or variance again. For the position, you have to calculate percentile or interquartile range. Within first quarter, how much of patients was there? Second quarter, third quarter and final quarter likewise. So you have to analyze by using whatever the data analyzing method. Here I am going to analyze my data using descriptive statistic. So before that you have to take ethical consideration. You have to take ethical approval from your institution. Why your, your institution from your institution, from audit committee, audit committee, and sometimes you have to take from postgraduate institution as well. So, in addition to that, you have to maintain privacy, security, and confidentiality of your data. And you have to mention your references. Here my references is here my references is one reference containing that 95% of patients should wait in less than two hours, that guideline. Second one, in my object, object background, I say hypoglycemia, dehydration, hypoglycemia, dehydration, and anxiety increase, that guideline. So, two references there for me, I am going to add that two references to my audit proposal. Now, I made audit proposal, then I should make audit questionnaire for my patient. So now I am going to make audit questionnaire. It includes name of institution, name of institution. Number two, if you are going to do more than, going to do your audit in more than two, more than one institution, you have to mention it. Then serial number. You, have to, you can easily identify how many data you can you collect up to now by using serial number. Third one, patient age, patient checks, type of surgery, GU, GI, orthopedic, plastic, neuro like, sex also I have mentioned male, female here, then the person who 
mark this one is easily can mark like this then time of arrival to theatre time of arrival number two time when taken to theatre wait time when induced anesthesia then time when surgery finish then time when patient sent to recovery to recover time when patient sent to ward you have to add the minute here i am going to add minute here time in minute time in minute time in minute time in minute so from those audit question yeah you can get you can take those data and you can analyze those data then you can identify whether your patient 95 of your patients waiting less than 2 hour or not if not you have to find out where are the problem usual international value for recovery area for while waiting 15 minutes but our patient waiting 25 minutes average average 25 minutes of waiting in the recovery area because of that recovery area is always full so we can't take patient into the recovery area because of this problem then what I am going to do is why that recovery area is full because one thing is staff under under staff under staff or less monitor so I am going to allocate separate medical officers for recovery and separate nursing officers and I am going to add more monitor to the recovery area so after that I am going to do re-audit to identify whether our problem is resolved right now or not so that is how we are going to do clinical audit from today onward at the end of the lecture I will try to give audit topic for you try to do audit because number one you can improve the patient outcome as we told first improve the patient outcome number two it will add mark for your curriculum detail